Well, Coach, obviously a lot of concern about your quarterback's head injury. So what's Alex Hornerbrook's status for the game? You know what, uh, each day this week he's uh, progressed, so I think that he'll be uh, available to play. All right. Good. Yes, it is. <laughs> uh, obviously, every head coach wants to be able to stop the run. You guys have done a great job of that this year. But an interesting challenge in Saquon Barkley this week. How would you describe the difficulty that he presents? Well, he is incredibly gifted. And uh, if you're not playing against him, he's really fun to watch. <laughs> you know, and earlier in the year, I was watching him. Like, this is something I think also with the ability with the quarterback to run, you know, you can't just put everything on, talking about stopping the run game, you can't put it all just on Saquon. And then, you know, they've done a great job pushing the ball down the field. So our defense will be challenged in a number of different ways and everyone's got to play their assignment. And then once the play declares, once the ball declares, then we've got to try to get as many hats to the ball as we can. Last question for you. I know it kind of sounds strange since this is the Big Ten Championship, but so much talk about the playoffs, so many outside voices. When you talk to your team, what do you feel like you're really playing for in this one? The Big Ten Championship. And that's <laughs> that's a ton. And, you know, I love this about this team this year is they've been able to focus on what is at hand. And it took so much to get here and to have the opportunity to play in this game. That's all the motivation we need is if you can, in this conference, be called the Big Ten Conference champion, that's big. That's the only incentive we needed. All right. Thanks.